In this video, we're going to focus on how to clip image in Canvas. And clipping an image is very important. So right now we have this here, SVG file, but I'm going to warn you, an SVG file is not very suitable for clipping because due to its scalability, it does certain things unexpected. So let's go scroll down here. And what I'm going to do here, well, first of all, let's go and grab our fruit image. So again, if you didn't have the fruit image, Make sure you make a screenshot of this right now because we'll be using this one now and we want to clip and what does clip really mean well clipping means basically cutting out a specific part just, just think about a coupon you get in a newspaper or well who gets a newspaper these days but uh, if you get it on a piece of paper you need to clip out or cut out that specific coupon and what we want to do here is basically the same we want to clip out what exactly this tile here or one of these in this case we can grab this one let's start to explore how to do this so the first thing what i want to do here is i want to convert this back because an svg will not work and i'll show you on later or i'll show you later on why right now and if you have this large file go scale the image down to 200 by 250 or sorry by 250 by 250 pixels all right so once we have that i'm going to just Paste that in there. So we have the fruit here. I'm going to convert this back and I'm going to put this back into its original size, which is 250 by 250. So I'm going to delete this. We don't need this one anymore. Here, we're going to work with some additional items. And the clipping makes it very important to understand. Basically, what I really want to do is this. Let's say I want to grab here the grape tile. I want to cut out this specific tile. How do we do this? Well, we have here our coordinates, but when we clip an image, there are additional coordinates in here. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to tell you exactly what they are. So pay attention here. So you can see that these here will be moved all to the back. I'm going to copy this and put them in here. And what I will say here, this will be the source X, this is the source Y, the source width, and the source height. Very important here, don't get confused. The source height is the relative height. What I mean by that is the relative is because we had here like this item here, or let's say the source X. So you might say, all right, we had here the 100. So if you want to clip out this part here, we have to go 100 and then whatever would be, let's say we want to have this here, this is 250 total. So this would be 125 by 125 for every tile. So we say 100 plus 125, that will be the total clipping so we start here at 100 and then this would be 225 as you can understand but that's not the case and the reason why is we're going to go in the relative so the relative here of the source will assume that this point is the starting point of the image so this is zero and then will be 125 so to make this very visual for you i'm going to create a rectangle and this rectangle will help us to uh, clip out that specific area so what I'm going to say here is the following. I'll say here fill uh, ctx dot fill style, and this fill style will be just color red. So I say here color red. And next I'm going to say ctx dot, and then we're going to look here. Uh, what this will be is the rect fill rectangle, and then here these coordinates will be very similar. We're going to grab here most likely it will be almost like this, except. We will have it small. So if I save this now and refresh, you can see we're just exactly on top. And if you really pay careful attention, it refreshes it. If I refresh, you will see that the image or the red background color comes first, and then the image will be on top. Why is this? Well, the reason is very simple. Even though you might say, well, this should not be because we are here later on. So if I would move this up, this should make sense because first the image will be, sorry, first the, uh, background has been loaded and then the image so why is here now no matter where we put it in the same case so the the answer is because of the unload we get a slight delay so that delay creates that the square or the rectangle is being drawn first before the image is being drawn if i put it in here now you will see it will overlap the image nicely all right so that's most important once so we have an understanding of this and what i would recommend of course it would make sense to just put this one here save that all right so now we have this one here and if I would like to have well if I get the grape in that case I should be overlapping this one for now so I'm going to save this all right but now what I want to do is I want to cut only this specific part out so I'm going to just highlight that specific part so I say 100 
125 by 125. We save that, refresh. So if you're wondering why 125 by 125, because as I told you previously, the image has a width of 250 pixels and a height of 250. So if I want only this rectangle or this square, then 125 and 100 by 125. So that's the positioning here. So now we have this. And what I really want to do now is, because basically this is here the answer almost for this specific part. However, it is not 100% because this one here calculates this. But we need to reset this to zero. So let's, uh, let me just comment this out. And I'm going to create a new one here. Put that in there. And just give this a proper indentation. And then what I will do is I'm going to just grab this here all. Put it back in here. All right, so now, what are the coordinates? Well, the coordinates are basically this here. I'm going to copy all of this, put it in there. Except, remember, these two are relative, meaning we need to start here, but this is considered the zero point of the image, which makes sense because it's based or measured based on the image. And relative would mean related to. That's the definition of relative. It's related to the image in this case. So we're going to say a 0, 0, and if I save this, refresh, now we have this. But what is happening here is probably something unexpected. We clip this out, and while we're clipping it out, and let me just comment this, or let's put that here, refresh, it becomes 250 pixels by 250 pixels. Why? Well, the answer lies in here. Remember this, this was still the width and height coordinates, still intact here. But if you're going to clip out something, you will clip out not only that, but you don't want to scale it anymore. You want to keep that in its original size of that clipped part, which is 125 by 125. So I'm going to put that in there. Save that. Refresh. And now, as you can see, we have clipped it out and put that in here. So with this, we can start to play around and, of course, do something. We could even move this, let's say, to 200 by 200. So we're moving the image now in an other position as you can see here all right so now we have this one and what i think would be a good exercise is to just get another item in here all right so to do that first of all we're going to put it in there and save that and refresh so we have all of this and now the challenge will be can we get the uh, pair in this case to get the pair we have to play around again so we are we have here this 250 pixels by 250 pixels we have to figure out we need to get this size here, and we have to get to this exact point here. So this point here is now 125 by 125. So if we would say 125 to the right, then 125 to the bottom, this is the point here. So let's do this again. This will be now 125 by 125. I'm going to comment this out, I'll save that, refresh, and there we are. So now we have this one, and of course, because with 200 pixels, if I would say this would be back to its original, 100 by 100, it will go exactly on the tile here, but we could also move it back to here. Then we have to calculate how many pixels that would be. That would be then probably 225, because it's 125 different, so, so we calculate 100 plus 125. So I hope you're able to follow along with this. Save that. Refresh, and you can see now we push it here, exactly in there. And that's basically the way how you can clip images. And of course, you can do a lot, but this tile image will show you an easy way to follow. So next, what I want to show you is the what I told you about why we don't recommend the Chart.js, or at least the SVG logos. The SVG images tend to uh, scale in an unexpected way. So if I do this, you get like that, all right? And remember, our SVG level is 250 by 250. So if I put this back, say here's zero, here's zero, comment this out, save that, refresh. So as you can see here, this is the original size, and then we have here the rectangle that would be here, and we could probably change it as well. Or we could move this to 100, and here again to 100, save that. You would expect this, but the moment we start to clip it, for some reason, it is not the way we want it. So let's do this again. We're going to clip that. We say 125, 125. We just keep that all in place. Put it in there. Save that. Refresh. 
and you can see now while we're clipping it it moves slightly but that's all right because of our positioning yeah of here which would be the maybe also 100 by 100 but you can see the clip of version is far larger than expected and the reason why this happening is because an svg keeps on scaling into infinity so or it is just it can scale unlimited but unlimited uh, you know into infinity basically because it will keep on going up and but will calculate based on the space available so that's why you want to avoid SVG files for for uh, clipping. However, if you're going to use a logo like this, an SVG logo, but you use the full size of it without clipping, that is absolutely no problem and highly recommended because then you can scale it into any size you want and it keeps it nice and crisp. So that's very important to understand.